Uh, my heart just goes out to the, the families and friends of the people who were unfortunately killed. Um, I ne that's never something that crossed my mind when I took the internship that I might see people die. Mm. People that were nothing but welcoming and comforting to me. That was the Capital Gazette intern Anthony Messenger talking about his experience Thursday when a gunman opened fire in the paper's newsroom, killing five people. We want to highlight those victims he mentioned in the words of their colleagues who were forced to write obituaries for their friends and coworkers. Editorial page editor <clears throat> Gerald Fishman, quote, for more than 25 years, Fishman was the conscience and voice of the Annapolis News Organization, writing scathing, insightful, and always exacting editorials about the community. He was the guardian angel. He was the guardian against libel, the arbiter of taste, and a peculiar and endearing figure in a newsroom full of characters. Assistant editor and columnist Rob Hyacin. He was hired, quote, to add a more human dimension to news coverage, and indeed, he became known for stories about people and community life. He celebrated his 33rd wedding anniversary last week with a former journalist who teaches English at Delaney High School. Thursday was her 58th birthday. Writer and editor John McNamara, who went by Mac, was remembered by his colleagues for his flexibility, concise writing, and extensive knowledge of regional sports. A former editor, noting the need for versatility at small papers, said McNamara could write, he could edit, he could design pages, he was just a jack of all trades and a fantastic person. Editor and community reporter Wendy Winters was in her second career. She had a talent for connecting with the community and documenting people's achievements and important local events. Beyond the newsroom, she identified herself as a proud Navy mom, a church youth advisor, a Red Cross volunteer, and a Girl Scout leader who could make a mean s'more. <sighs> Sales assistant Rebecca Smith was a recent hire at the Capitol Gazette, but had already proved herself a valuable asset. Smith described herself on her Facebook page as a survivor of endometriosis and a dog mom. Softball fiance, bonus mom <laughs> to the best kid ever. A touching reference to her fiance's daughter. You can read a lot more about all of these folks on the Capitol Gazette's website, and we truly hope you do. They were people doing a job to inform their community in the world they deserve to be remembered. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.